So before welcoming uh, my next uh, guest, um, I would like to make a little announcement. I made already uh, this morning, but many people uh, uh, from the developer community were not here this morning. So two things. The first thing for the people uh, attending the conference uh, here on site, you have the opportunity to win several BlackBerry phones and several uh, USB cards. Um, so in order to do that, you have to give your, your, your business card um, um, to the Lucky Draw Box. There's also one option, which is to uh, basically um, uh, Weibo. Uh, and if um, your comments are on, on the screen here, I don't know why it's not working right now. Okay. Uh, Okay, right. So ba basically, uh, you have a, a higher chance to be, uh, uh, to, to be the winner of some, some uh, BlackBerry phone. Uh, there was um, another point I wanted to, to, to comment. You have also the ability to ask directly questions to the speakers uh, using a Weibo. And uh, if your question is selected, it will be uh, uh, shown on, on the screen and it also will be asked here uh, to, the, to the speaker. So, my next guest is the head of uh, um, strategic alliances and partnership for BlackBerry, uh, Zhang He. Here. Here, okay. Good to see you. So, uh, Zhang He will take the lead uh, of the presentation for most of the afternoon, and I will get back myself uh, with you to wrap it up. Thank you. I was speaking Chinese. Good afternoon. My name is Zhang Chi. I'm from Rim, China, responsible for the third party cooperation in China. This afternoon, I would like to share with you the iPod. As we know, this is the latest product uh, published by BlackBerry, and there's also an alliance program. I hope that after you come back home, you can download our SDK and download some very wonderful apps. The App Store of BlackBerry has some difference between others, like uh, the iPod have its Apple Store and Android Market, but uh, Black BlackBerry App Store is quite different. Because in our store you can have different, uh, you can find different categories like gaming, like life, and so on. And second, we have a ranking. So we have uh, the top 25 list of features, the best uh, 25 paid apps, and so on. And the last, we have the um, search. That is, if you know the name of the game or the apps, you can actually search it in the blank and you'll find the result. Second, we have BlackBerry phones and also the Playbook, which have already uh, on the market in North America. So as for developers, if you want to have a device and uh, publish on BlackBerry, the backstage and account are the same. So long as you have a BlackBerry account, you can actually go into the App Store. And last is the payment. I think this is the most interest, interesting part for developers. As we all know, we support credit card, PayPal, and also the pre-buying payment and so on. So we have the almost the same functions as other app stores. But compared with others, we have our own different focuses. For example, in BlackBerry store, we actually would like to improve your working efficiency. For example, if you like to read news, we will have 
Bloomberg News and also Reuters News. If you want to have some apps management, we also can provide you such service. So compared with other app stores, our store will actually focus on providing conveniences and uh, improving your working conditions, uh, working efficiencies. And these are the data we are very interested in. Actually, we have around 43 million app work users, and the average daily download downloads with is 3 million. And we have uh, the app stores in around 108 countries. And this April, our store was officially launched in China. And the domestic app users will actually went in, uh, go into the Chinese website. As for Playbook, we have around uh, over 3,000 apps. As for carrier, carrier billing, we launched on AT&T, Rogers and Tolus. We're also cooperating with the Chinese operators, the, chi the operators in China right now. I think no matter for black users or developers, you might know that the, if the number of apps are increasing to a certain number, you, it's hard for you to find what you really want. So there is too much. There are too much choices. But BlackBerry have such a feature. It can connect the users and uh, the developers together. For example, we have Carousel. So opening the store, you can enter such an interface. And we can find the latest products. For example, we can find the names are different. Those apps might not be the latest or the newest, but uh, it's actually recommended to the users according to the popularity among the users. And now is the barcode scan. This is not a new technology, but it's very interesting because the barcode can be published on many um, media, like on the magazine on, and so on. Also on the website or the other provo promotional gifts. So this code can actually be scanned. We we'll also have some market promotion with our uh, market partners, for example, this is the magazine interface. Magazine. We will recommend a certain application for a certain family, for example, to try to search for restaurants, entertainment spaces, and also the related softwares. We will try to promote the application of our third party partners to enrich their lives and uh, improve their working efficiency. So this is the brief introduction of our app store. And now, many developers have different uh, platforms like Angel and Sibian and so on, but why should we make BlackBerry platform? This, was, uh, this data was collected by the third party by this March. We can see the data here. The green one are for the free softwares, the number of free softwares, but red one are actually the paid softwares. So currently, Apple has around uh, uh, 333,000 apps. Looking at the table, we might not get so excited because we can see that the apps of BlackBerry do not, it's not actually that popular. But we should not be too pessimistic. 
they actually can find some facts from those data. That is, the overall apps number in China is around uh, 30,000. But uh, Apple have actually um, 500,000. But actually, they have so much, uh, so uh, a large number of apps. But it's hard for them to make one product that stands out. But for BlackBerry, it's different. The BlackBerry users would would love to pay to enjoy better service. A 95 percent of BlackBerry users um, are using domestic software softwares. Because in domestic markets, there are a lot of opportunities. As for the BlackBerry users, we actually think the users are high-end consumers. Among the Fortune Top 500, we have 400 companies using Blackberries. A 48 percent of Blackberry users are college graduates. So the BlackBerry users are focused on the high-end consumers with high uh, purchasing power. So in order and now I'd like to give you an example. This is uh, MMMOOO. This is a Shanghai-based software company. This company was not so big, but they focused on a backblade platform and sell their applications on global markets. But this company is actually profitable, but I will not give you details on how much money they are making. Um, please turn to the data on the right hand. That is, in March this year, the top one pay, paid apps is Photo app, Photo Club, Club at the price of 6.99 US dollars. And iLock 2.0 ranks number four. Will protect your personal media folder with a password. So we also have a lot of chance and opportunities to win the recognition of our users. And at last, in conclusion, I hope the develop developers here should also try to develop applications on the platform of BlackBerry. If you want to actually upload the uh, software in BlackBerry App Store, we used to charge a certain fee, but now there's no fees charged. And second, if you want to sell paid apps, you have to have a PayPal account. Of course, as for a lot of uh, award winners today, if you want to join us, join our app store, we can also do some promotional activity for you. But this is far from enough because we have still long-term programs. We'll provide more support for those developers because you can find a lot of the uh, latest uh, technology and devices on our store. And second, we can do some marketing for you. If each year we also have a lot of uh, summit and uh, BlackBerry Award and uh, other forums, we will invite the Alliance members to participate in it. So much for my presentation. And now I will invite um, one of our good partners to uh, share with us their experiences on developing on the BlackBerry platforms. Now the floor is open to the Sina Weibo. Thank you, Zhang Chi.
Thank you, John Chu, for giving me the opportunity. First, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Zhang Wei from Sina, responsible for Sina Weibo. Today, I'd like to share with you our experiences of Sina Weibo incorporated with the BlackBerry platform. First is the rapid development of Sina Weibo. Um, from August 2009 till now, we can see now the users of Sina Weibo have exceeded around uh, 100 million. So that's a huge increase. And the, and the currently, the daily Weibo you, uh, fifty percent of the Weibo published uh, coming from the mobile users, and there's also other websites cooperating with Signa. There's around fifteen thousand websites or links cooperating with us. And this is the data for the daily active mobile user of uh, Signal Weibo. It actually accounts for a proportion of 52%. So we have uh, different uh, types of uh, uh, users, like uh, the web users have decreased from 71.5% uh, in September 2010 to the current 46.3% uh, in March 2011. Currently, there are 52.1% of uh, the uh, Signal Weibo users coming from the um, PC. So we can see from last year till now, the uh, visitors of Signal Weibo coming from the different three sectors and the proportion have changed. And from this figure, we can see Signa Weibo is also a platform. There are three factors, elements in it, providing open API as well as other apps, wireless apps and web, as well as commercial apps and so on. For this open API plan, we will build our own products all on this platform, which means that uh, Weibo and the other developers are on the first level. And for the quality of this API and functions, it's the same for Weibo and the other developers. Moreover, we'll provide SOE and the cloud computing platforms, technological search engines, location, and the other media storage functions. We'll, we will uh, provide that service through these OPIs system. And this is an analysis of the OP of different smartphones. 41% uh, is from iPhone, 37% from Android, and from S60 is 14%, and Bragra is only 8%. This is a strange data for us, because for us, uh, there is a lot of S60 users in China. And BlackBerry, they have their own specialties. At first, when, not, when we do the end termi user term terminals for BlackBerry, we use the key Java, and many customers complain about its lack of originality. So we have a special group to develop those uh, user terminals for BlackBerry. Later, I will introduce the latest functions for 
Weibo's uh, BlackBerry user terminals, and they have many applications. This is, this is the new version for this BlackBerry user terminals. At first, the UI screen was optimized, and we have a, a better dialogue, uh, dialogue screen. Third is the BlackBerry push, push functions, and this is a paid service. So in China, it's quite limited. However, uh, in the overseas country, abroad countries, some users are already using this service. Fourth is a convergence system. For instance, uh, when you just shoot a picture, you can see uh, option of send to Weibo in this menu. Now I will introduce our future plans. It's including a overall search engine, and for S sixty, we have a overall search engine system, and the BlackBerry is a very good social uh, phones. They support Facebook and Twitter, and we will try to implement input this social feed functions and with uh, deeper integration with BBM and those multi-touch point support. I think that we can have more developers to participate in this activity and more participants to participate in our team and to participate in more applications in this. There are three uh, accounts. One is Weber BlackBerry. Uh, user terminal. The yeah, second is Weibo cell phone customer terminal. The third is um, guest for the cell phone signal. They also include some information in this account. And we hope that you can use this account in the Weibo to um, contact us. So that's for, that's for my speech. Thank you very much. And now we hope that uh, the, our BlackBerry users can can now uh, download this uh, user terminal, and it says you you can send messages on Weibo through BlackBerry. La later, we will have our colleague Mr. Jiang Wei to introduce new applications on BlackBerry. Thank you. All. Good afternoon. I'm Mr. Jiang, I'm Jiang Wei from RIN. Uh, I want to introduce this uh, platform for BlackBerry. I think all these customers and, uh, and the companies are really familiar with BlackBerry. Today I want to do a detailed introduction of BlackBerry. I think that maybe many people are familiar with BlackBerry smartphone, but are not familiar with the platform. So I want to give you a complete idea today. I will talk about the following things. What is well, what is BlackBerry? Seeing that many users will say that BlackBerry is a brand name for cell phones, actually for us, BlackBerry represents a lot of things. For instance, as you can see, you maybe you see a tip of the iceberg. Actually, for BlackBerry, we have really a diversified content. BlackBerry is a smartphone, a software, a service, or push-up technology. And what is the answer? Actually, uh, BlackBerry is everything we just mentioned. When we do our advertising, advertisement, actually it is a safe end-to-end -end mobile solutions. 
I think this is will be a complete explanation. You just say tip of an iceberg. There is a huge system behind those smartphone. So actually, BlackBerry is not only a cell phone, but a, a solutions. So as a the factory, we provide uh, solutions to the to the our customers. Actually, nowadays there is no company like Rim, because we do hardware for cell phones as well as software, uh, we provide them to to companies, and we also develop platforms, and we also cooperate with operators, and we, part we participate in the operation. So there is no company like Rim in the world. Actually, we provide two kinds of solutions. One is for individuals, the other is for companies. For a customer, you can insert in these two parts through one BlackBerry. And in China, we cooperate with those three major operators, of individual and the company business. Uh, I've been providing to you gradually uh, both individual users and company users can enjoy the benefits bought by BlackBerry. Just now, uh, Zhang Chi mentioned our, our app world that our all applications use on BlackBerry. Later, uh, there will be some award winners. They will introduce their fantastic applications on BlackBerry. Actually, we have been in China for four or five years, and uh, for individual service, we just started last year. And for the, this one year, we developed many applications targeted at the customers. Actually, we are good at provide service to company users. This is this shows that in different industries, they all use the solutions from BlackBerry. And there are many customers that do not understand our specialty in providing service to companies. Put, to put it simple, there are two characteristics. This uh, BlackBerry is directly connected to the intranet of the company. This is our advantage. Until now, there is no, no cell phone can easily connected to the intra, intranet of a company. As for normal cell phones, they must uh, use a VPN software, so later they can get into the intranet. And secondly is that we have this push function. Um, all the information uh, through the server in this company can be can be transferred to this BlackBerry. So this is a renewal for the other things. They need a renewal of, uh, operation. However, for BlackBerry, uh, we can push all the information to your BlackBerry. So if you put your BlackBerry in your pocket, and all the information just come to you. If you have no data today, and uh, the, it won't cost you any flow or, or data. Actually, uh, in China, BlackBerry has many co company customers. The first application on BlackBerry is a application with Chinese characteristics. That's OA, that office automation. All those uh, Chinese companies, uh, from government to financial sector to manufacturing sector, they have their own office. Auto 
information. We will uh, extend this OA to our mobile terminals. And also, we can do those smart, uh, intelligent things on BlackBerry, like uh, CSM, customer service management, etc. And also, BlackBerry have our have our own specialties. That's for the super application. It doesn't mean that to develop an application on one device, we will uh, rely on the specialties of a cell phone and integrate different applications. For instance, if I went to a, if I go to a meeting room and this cell phone can be muted uh, automatically, then this is a uh, situational function. And if somebody he he's not in the office, and how can he communicate with his colleagues? And these are all these advantages of BlackBerry, and we want to integrate that in our application. I just want to mention that super application is a convergence and integration of many uh, applications. We just said that uh, when you shoot a picture by BlackBerry, you can send this picture to Singla or Weibo directly. You can find that uh, find that choice in your menu. For users, you can have a smooth operating experience by using BlackBerry. And this example for our super usage. Abroad, world made is now uh, acquired by uh, BlackBerry. So now in our airport, we will have a travel uh, travel function. Use this function, you can book a flight ticket. And uh, and the, the, this schedule will go through your personal schedule automatically. And when you arrive at your destination, the, uh, it will show the lo local time and the local weather forecast. And also with this connection function, you can see that uh, who are at the same place with you. For instance, if I go to Shanghai for business trip today, I can say that uh, how many of my friends are also in Shanghai. It's just, uh, it's not like traditionally I went to a, a website and then to search for my information. And uh, it's, it's more modern, like those information will come to you. Now, maybe you are not familiar with the development of BlackBerry. Now, I want to introduce the BlackBerry's application and development platform. You can say that there are many contents, a lot of contents, like consumer application and uh, application for those companies. So we have diversified application environment targeting at different customers. We have a BlackBerry Sim Studio. And for web application, we have a special web application platform. And the Java will support this increased platform. For companies, they can use Oracle and its own development tools by IBM and push that to BlackBerry. So for our users, you can choose the developer tool you like. And now we are cooperating with Adobe.